So the question of how sequence-based filmics uh, is important for uh, answer, allowing us to answer questions about uh, cancer uh, biology is a very, very important one. I think next generation sequence, uh, sequencing is absolutely critical on so many levels uh, for what we do now in cancer biology. Um, since the uh, initiation uh, and subsequent finishing of projects such as the Cancer Genome uh, Project and the International uh, you know, uh, Cancer uh, Genome Sequencing Consortium efforts, uh, we uh, in the field um, have really relied on multi-omics analyses to generate uh, detailed information about how tumor uh, cells function. Tumor cells uh, on a cell autonomous uh, level um, have many mutations uh, that can occur and multi and, uh, uh, NGS sequencing uh, really allows us to, uh, to get a comprehensive answer on all the genetic changes that occur. But more importantly, we're able to integrate uh, the, the gene expression data along with the DNA data to better understand how uh, the um, genome uh, causes different changes in cell, in, in uh, gene expression and, and in messenger RNA uh, programs. Uh, more importantly, though, uh, in the last, uh, I would say, uh, you know, decade or so, it's becoming very clear that the immune system and, and the tumor microenvironment is very, very important. And so uh, gene expression changes and uh, DNA level changes uh, are now able to be integrated not only in the tumor cell, but also beyond in terms of the microenvironment to give us an understanding of how all the different types of cells work together. Uh, and uh, one can, for instance, understand, uh, you know, which tumors having which mutations can affect uh, clonality and the type of uh, uh, T-cell receptor repertoire changes that may occur uh, in tumors. And more importantly, very recently, what we have uh, is uh, something called spatial transcriptomics, which gives us even an additional level of insight. And that is not only now are we able to really look at to see where a lot of the mutations occur and a lot of uh, the phenotype changes that occur in different cell types, but now also to, to understand uh, where those changes occur in relation to different alterations at the tissue level, right? So uh, where exactly in, in the tumor uh, that the changes are happening, uh, how it correlates with areas of cell death, for instance, or increased inflammation and whatnot. So, all in all, this is a very, very important aspect of what we do, uh, and uh, it uh, continues to provide additional insight uh, into our understanding of how cancer uh, develops and progresses.